one last look at our hotel room that we had for the week in Orlando. We made it to the Orlando airport. Pretty smooth check-in today. Not as busy as last time we were here. Definitely check out that video in the show notes. We're going to this main area, which is so cool, honestly. Gate we're in gate 75. This main area is pretty cool. One of, the, one of these days I want to stay at the hotel. Look at the big Christmas tree. If you want to see us going around the Disney Monorail hotels looking at Christmas stuff, check out them show notes too. The Hyatt Regency. We don't like Hyatt. It doesn't matter. It'll still be interesting to stay here. I like how they have like a lounge up there. Alright, this bag got randomly selected for something, so let's see how long this takes. That's fun. Alright, our last trip on the monorail for this trip. Check it out, here it comes. It's not, as, it's not as pretty as the Disney ones. Macy's digging out her phone to say, yes. rifle through her stuff. She found it, yay! She'll talk about her experience in a minute. TSA. Alright. We're going to Delta, but that doesn't say Delta on there. Yeah, let's do it again. Hey, second time's the charm. <laughs> this looks better. Man, it's chilly in here today. Found another holiday tree. Kind of looks like the same that was in the lobby area. So how's TSA? It's a little more involved this time. They decided to rummage through my canvas bag. And then they had to open all the card boxes and have our Lorcana cards and then I'm like thumb through them. I'm like, if there was metal in there, maybe I came up on the scanner. Are you saying your scanners aren't affected? Because they're free for trusting. No problem. But yeah, and then he saw all my he had a bill come and he was like, oh yeah. Welcome to my life, sir. <laughs> Would you like to have to carry an extra bag just so you could leave? Anyways, it took more time because there was a guy who actually had a, a corkscrew pocket knife thing that got confiscated. So. What's your feelings on leaving Orlando again? I don't really have any feelings. I'm really tired, mostly because I have two weeks of work ahead of me. But I'm also slightly excited because after those two weeks of work, yeah, it'd be nice to be home yeah. in a couple weeks. Yeah. But then we gotta get everything ready to move forward. Yep. But we got a lot of shit done this week. Yeah. Almost 15 videos, somewhere around there. It's a lot. It's a lot of filming. Now there'll be a lot of editing. What are your thoughts? Uh, you know, it's one step closer to finally being home, which is nice. Uh, I enjoyed Orlando, though. It's a really fun sort of escape, but we work a lot when we're here, so it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Yeah, it's fun, but we are working a ton when we're here. not the worst thing though. It's not the, uh, the good thing about Charleston is it's such a small airport that you literally walk a couple feet, you're at the, the uh, baggage pickup, and then a couple more feet and you're out the door. I love it. <laughs> yeah, we got, what, like another hour till we board, maybe 45 minutes? Yeah. Almost time to do. <laughs> yeah. The plane's not here yet, but hopefully it'll be here soon. Till next time. The plane's pulling in. Oh, 
southwest. Like usual, the crazy board and sitch in Orlando. It's so packed here. Hey, right, we're heading on to the plane. There's no one on the plane. <laughs> Like we did get up, Brandon. That's what it looks like. There's the bag. Don't lie. Yeah, it's a crazy big plane. Crazy, crazy big plane. This is the first time I've flown with three seats in the middle, two seats on each side. I've never flown like this before. This is the first time for me, I believe. All right, there's our location off the wing. You can see them loading up stuff in that other plane. Finishing our stuff too. Any idea why they're doing it in a movie theater slash auditorium? I mean, we're doing this in a plane, not an auditorium, y'all. See your safety card for more information. Additional life Gotta be honest, this plane's making a lot of squeaking noises. Look at that. That one's not even on the right clothes, it doesn't look like. Airport to A32. That's A32. Our terminals by the Atlanta Hawks basketball bar and grill. 
if it's anything like the Braves bar and grill that we went to earlier, they are definitely skippable. That's well, not very good. Made it just in time. I'm sorry to start the announcements. There's Grumpy Nancy. Flight time from Gate 6 is one hour and three minutes. You'll be arriving eight minutes early. Just eating some cherries. I didn't even know they made this. Yeah, okay. Okay. I saw them next to the cola ones. I remember the cola ones from back in the day. Oh, great. I went through a phase where I wanted a gummy bear. Kind of tastes like medicine. Yep. I need to shave. Yeah. It's just funny because he picks out his nose hairs. I didn't show two items. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. So I know what's going to happen. He starts picking. And then, like, sneezes up to him. I'm not sure that he's, like, like, he's caught off guard by it. Like, he's always surprised. And then, okay. I was scratching something under my nose, is what made me sneeze on the plane, if that's what you're trying to reference. Yeah, I don't know. He's got something red right now. Yeah. Fun, fun. All right, so we got uh, about a 45 minute to an hour flight, and then we'll be in Charleston. See you on board. It's a baby's world. We just pumping it, y'all. We just pumping it. Pump it good. Getting in the long line, getting ready to get on. This will be fun. And heading on to the plane. A little different than the last one. We're backed up. Free Wi-Fi this time. I got one of those seats that don't have a window. So what are your thoughts on leg encroachment? I mean, how much further over can you get? At the Charleston for the last time this year. Love <laughs> with the pineapple, y'all. What? All right, check out the Christmas decorations and the baggage claim. Pretty fancy. It's nice in Charleston, they always have a historical pieces at the baggage claim area. Musket ball, that's kind of cool. From 1730. This is the Charleston Museum. It's a place we're considering going. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see us go there. And let us know in those comments below what you think. Some old containers, flask, medical bottle, plates. Check out the pottery. Ooh, a wine bottle. Classic. I love the pictures too. Panorama of Charleston, 19, I'm sorry, 1851. Wow. If you didn't know too, there's the baggage claim. There's outside, and right across the street is where you get the Uber and Lyft pickups. So it's right there too. Pretty close.
at 22 minutes and our bags still haven't come out. So make sure, legit tip is that you do the Delta 20 minute late baggage, it gives you 2,500 extra miles. And here it comes. Got our luggage. Nathan's luggage is over there. She looking happy as usual. And there's the airport in the distance. We're waiting for our Uber lift to get here. We've made it to the office. Nathan's getting the keys for the car. Then we're gonna head to either the hotel or to Publix just to grab some water and stuff. And then head to the hotel. Talk about the flight when we get in the car. We got to the hotel and the same issue as last time, a blue TV. So nice has been downstairs for about 10 minutes now. We'll see where we move to now or what happens next. It's always fun at this hotel. All right, we've made it back to Charleston and that was a fun trip. It was a short trip. It's a lot yes. easier coming from Orlando to Charleston than from Vegas to Charleston. A uh, hundred thousand million, million times, yes. Uh, short day, it was pretty straightforward. Atlanta was okay, nothing mm -hmm. major there. And of course Orlando was pretty smooth. Luckily, and a legit tip for sure, is to get out in the morning because if you don't and your hotel already has checkout, then you have to wait at the airport and sometimes the airport doesn't let you check your bags in for certain times. So there's definitely a lot of things there. So legit tip, definitely get out of Orlando in the morning if you're flying out of Orlando. Agreed. And honestly, our flights weren't bad. We didn't have any in-flight entertainment. We didn't have any Wi-Fi and we still survived because they were less than an hour flights for both. Yeah, once you get in the air. Yep. Yeah. So, and then once we got to town, we went and hit up our favorite place. The Publix. Because you got to stock up on the good stuff and that's where the good stuff is, <laughs> is Publix. Yeah, if you're in the South, definitely another legit tip there. Best uh, supermarket. Publix. Best fried chicken. Oh, yeah. Best chicken tenders. They're really good subs for a supermarket too. And uh, I like the fruit punch soda that they make. Just a, just a little secret there. I like the tea. She's got the tea. <laughs> Always got the tea. But yeah, we love Publix. And because we don't have Publix in Vegas, it's definitely one of our highlights when we come out here. Yeah. To kind of get some old faves and have a little bit of nostalgia. And yeah, and then we came back here, ate some dinner, and uh, just... Relax, because honestly, Orlando was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Oh, we, yeah. We always enjoy it, and we can't wait to get back there next year. Yeah. So and if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And ring that notification bell so you get notified of at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you guys for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth? Bye, everybody. Bye.